God said, have you considered? Then the devil said, it's because you gave him all these things of life. Take it away from him and see if he will not curse you and die. Just take it away. Then God said, okay, it was a bet. Can God bet over your life? Can God bet that after you go through trials, you will still come back to church and say, Baba, holy and thou. Can God bet over your life? I thank God you are born again. I thank God you are speaking in God. If God take away your car, will you still come to the altar and say, Baba, what thee is thy name? Can God bet over your life that if husband didn't come this year, you will still stay in the church? Can God bet over your life that if your baby did not come, you will say, say Father, I thank you because I know only a thou. Listen to me. You are not truly born again until you go through trials. All this speaking in tongues and roboscanda and wearing of color is not the true test. Let's go through fire. And by the time we go through fire and come out and say, Father, Father, though I went through many trials, but blessed be the Lord. What can separate me from the love of Christ? Is it trial? Is it temptation? Is it peril? Is it hide? Is it death? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Trials. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, trial is an examination of evidence, an application by law for a competent tribunal to determine the issue specified or charges or claim. Trial is the act or process of testing and trying and putting to proof. Trial is the act or process of testing, trying or putting to proof. Trial is an effort or an attempt. Trial is a state of pain or anguish that tests patience, endurance and belief. Trial is a state of pain Anguish that tests patient and believe. In fact, I love this last one. It is a state of pain or anguish that tests your state of belief. Prophet, what are you trying to do this morning? I'm trying to tell you. Have you considered your problem today that it is a trial to your faith that why you are going through that that is a trial what are you doing now have you passed or are you failing the devil wanted to drag Job to do one thing and what was it just say cause God Tell him that he is not alive. That is what the devil is making you to go through this thing. So that you say God does not answer prayer. The devil is making you to go through this. So that you can fold your Bible and go to native doctor. The devil is making you to go through this. So that you feel that God does not exist. So when you say one miracle you say it's fake. Because you don't understand the trials of faith in this world, ye shall have many tribulations, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Job said, and I know that all the days of man is full of troubles. Trials. 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 When the devil wanted to strike you on that one day, records of all that he gathered, he lost them on that one day. The first 
first message came that your oxen and the servant in charge of the oxen are dead the second message came why the messenger was delivering the message another one came that the chaldeans have dealt and cut away with all your camel why was this speaking another one came and said fire came down and consumed from heaven and consumed all his sheep why that one was this speaking another one came again and said all your children were in your brother's house and suddenly a wind from the desert came and blew the four corners of the building and they are sick and kill all then job shaved his beard shaved his hair that was a method of fasting in israel and shaved everything and sat down put on sackcloth and made the comment naked i came to this world naked i will go that's your car you won't go to heaven with it that's your job you will we will you will take it after that that house that you are building you will take it what you will take is your faith he said naked i go naked i will go my father my mother they did the dead back to me i came to this war in the pool of blood in nakedness i never have this church i never have the car the buildings and the blessing that god give me why should i die because of material thing why 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 should one boy take me away from the presence david said cast me not away from thy presence oh god take not thy holy spirit from me but renew a right spirit a right spirit within me your car some of you think you are rich you are not rich you are not rich what is the what is the beauty of your money without christ you have money but no christ that money in your bank account ask a badger the day he died whether he took the money that he looted ask, ask, ask. there is no money that you have that you are going to go with it that's why i ask you that's why i ask you where are you running from the presence of god you can achieve everything you aspire to be here on earth you can be free from the snares of the evils of this world, but you must find your place of connection, a place of true worship of the Almighty God. The Champions Royal Assembly, Biajin Kugwa, presents to you Prophet Joshua Iginla, a prophet of fire, a voice of power, called to raise the champion generation with signs and wonders, preaching and teaching the undiluted word of God. You cannot die until you fulfill your purpose. With a rugged and fire-eyes mentality, time of services, Sundays, Rivers of Revelation, ATF to 12.30 p.m. The Champions Royal Assembly, Biagin Kubwa, raising a champion generation. You are going to eat in your destiny from your leg. Your leg, your leg, your leg. That's where the food from your destiny will come. Yes, sir. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, I, I see you in the feet playing all round. And you are pursuing ball up and down. Yes, are you a footballer? I am, sir. You're a footballer. Yes, sir. Give Jesus a clamp of me. God would have opened the door. But spiritually, they've locked the door. But today, God has opened the door. There's a battle. There's a battle. There's a battle. I'm against your mother children. But God said to me, I will lift up the gates. And the everlasting door has been opened. Amen. And I will pull my son to come into greatness. Amen. You know, you are planning to travel abroad. That's correct, sir. You are planning to travel abroad. That's correct. Your passport. Your passport. Your passport. Your passport. I see a stamp on your passport. You are here with your passport in your right pocket. Yes, sir. Bring it out. You are from Abia. That's correct. From Umoya. That's correct. 
God said to me that a stamp is coming on this. Amen. I see you playing football with white people, with white people. In your family, stand up. It's like there is this issue of hatred. Very strong. Am I communicating? The, the, there is the way they are seeing you. Yes, sir. They are even telling you that you are a witch. Yes, sir. They went somewhere, they told them that you are a witch. Am I right? Yes. Sir. Told them that your sister that died, that you are the one that killed your sister. Yes, sir. Am I communicating? Now, your sister didn't die in a, 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 a spiritual death. She was afflicted with HIV and she died. Now, because of this, they have turned their back against you. And now, God is speaking to me that the woman that is dealing with two people in your family is using your face. Your mother has seen your face in her dream six times. So she believes you are the one doing her. But I stand on this altar and I call fire that's your face they are using. It go back to sender. Holy Ghost! 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 Holy Ghost!